Hello. This is the second episode of my series. Be prepared for the Mercury episode that's coming soon. But before that, we need to discuss something important. What are the types of objects in our solar system? Well, these are, well, a star, the sun, which I spoke about in my previous episode, planets, dwarf planet, asteroids, and comets. First of all, asteroids. What are they? Asteroids are small chunks of rocky and metallic debris that formed in the early solar system and didn't coalesce into planets. Most of them are found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Some of the largest asteroids include Vesta and Pallas. One reason why asteroids are so important is that they act like time capsules that show us how the solar system formed and evolved. Comets quite, are quite similar to asteroids, but instead of made of rock and metallic materials, they're made of ice, rock and gases. And also, they reside in the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud. Some familiar comets with, with most, lots of people should be Halley's Comet, Shoemaker Levy 9 and Hale Bop. Now, Hale Bop may not be as known. Maybe for some older generations, it'll be more known. Next, dwarf planets. Most people think that dwarf planets, as suggested by the name, are like planets but small and dead. And they are small, but they are definitely not dead. Some go on wild and erratic orbits, and some even have a chance of life. But what is the difference between dwarf planets and planets? The first of the dwarf planets to be discovered was Pluto, and it was deemed the ninth planet. In the 1990s, Eris was discovered. It's the, it was tough to dis, it was tougher to discuss uh, discover Eris because even though it's close to the size of Pluto, it goes above the orbital orbital plane of the solar system. Think of the Earth and other planets orbiting here. Eris orbits here. Now, when Eris was discovered, it was deemed the 10th planet. Then more similar sized objects were discovered, and astronomers began to question Pluto and Eris's status. In 2006, Pluto and other objects were demoted to dwarf planets. And there was also a new system created for identifying planets. There are three rules. One, it must orbit a star, not a planet, not anything else. Two, it must be mostly spherical. It doesn't have, planets aren't completely spherical because they rotate but they must be like mostly spherical and step three it must have cleared its orbit from orbital debris this is why pluto and the other 
dwarf planets were demoted because they still have all the objects in the in the Kuiper belt that that passes through their orbit. That's why they don't you know, check rule three. An interesting fact about dwarf planets is that even though they are small, m most have moons, and so, and one dwarf planet, which is Homea, all has rings. You might be wondering, how does a dwarf planet have rings? And I'll get to that in a later episode. Now, planets are basically exactly the same as dwarf planets, except they are bigger. And also, uh, lots of the time, some of them are warmer, because dwarf planets are tended to be found in further away, because you don't usually see asteroid belts really close to a star. Now, stay tuned for the Mercury episodes that's coming soon and other episodes that's coming later on. Thank you for watching.